Japan is often seen as a country that embraces technology. This, however, is not always true. In this video, Low Tech Japan. A recent study of the British market researcher YouGov asked people if they are able to avoid commuting to work or school during the corona pandemic. And 70% of the people asked in India said yes, 30% of the people in the US and only 18 of the people living in Japan. Of course, these numbers heavily depend on whom you are asking. Still, they allow me to lead over into today's topic. Japan is often seen as kind of a technology wonderland with a fantastic adoption of robotics and automation, great trains and even better toilet seats. However, some parts of the country are still astonishingly old school when it comes to technology. One of the reasons many people are not working from home right now is the lack of available equipment. While 92% of Japanese households have access to the internet, only 31.2% of them have fixed broadband. However, more than 131%, so more than all of the population in total, have access to mobile broadband. This is due to two things. The first one is, mobile routers are very popular because they are fast and convenient, with access speeds of more than 100 Mbps per second being no exception. The second is, many people simply don't own a computer. This again is also one of the reasons why DVDs are still very popular in Japan, even though they are very pricey. For example, the latest Star Wars movie right now on Amazon costs about $33 US. This again leads to DVD rentals, which are still very popular and available all over Japan. Also, real physical bookstores still exist and many people spend their lunch there just reading a manga. Another technological dinosaur, a relic of the past, that has survived here is the fax machine. Some time ago I made an order on Amazon and I had to take an extra step of security verification just to make sure it's me who is rightfully using my credit card. And the way to do that was to send them my documents as a fax. And where on earth should I find a fax machine? Of course in the closest convenience store. You can not only send a fax in a convenience store, you can also pay for things in cash. For example for airline tickets, concert cards, your gas bills or of course your order from Amazon. This is because Japan is still a heavily cash-based society. While many cashless service providers exist and new ones are added almost on a daily basis, going out without any cash on you would be foolish. Some restaurants don't even allow you to split the bills. Some things are understandable. For example, many areas in Japan still don't have centralized heating. This is for one because many houses are not well insulated. Also, the average lifespan of a house is not too long, usually about 30 years. Furthermore, landslides, depending on the area, are rather frequent. Still, as a German, it's hard for me to understand why the average house in Japan in winter is colder inside than the average house in Russia. For some things, you would expect automation, for example, directing traffic, traffic lights, signs and so on. What you are frequently seeing in Japan, however, are people with something like a small lightsaber to guide the traffic. This, of course, has its own flavor of service quality. Still, for many foreigners, it's something they look at in disbelief. All of this brings me to one conclusion. In Japan, innovation does not necessarily happen to disrupt a market or invent the next big thing, but rather because of two reasons. The first one being service quality and the second one, the efficient use of space because it's a very dense country with many people and space has to be used well. And this brings me to one of my next videos, which will be about the ingenious Japan, about how they optimize their space, how they make the small innovations that make everyday life so much more convenient. And if you don't want to miss that, then I suggest you subscribe right now, if you haven't already. For now though, thank you for watching and see you next time.